Close Brendan Fraser is the latest actor to come forward with his story of sexual assault in the wake of the Me Too and Time's Up movement. Time now that the Mummy star Brendan Fraser has detailed the Me Too experience he believes derailed his career. Liberal loathing actor James Woods says he believes his career was stymied by the same man because he WASNTU supporter of Hillary Clinton. The man in question is Philip Burke, a former president of the Hollywood Foreign Press Association known for hosting the Golden Globe Awards. Fraser said in a GQ interview published Thursday that Burke groped his butt at a summer luncheon in 2003, an allegation Burke has denied. Fraser, 49, said the alleged encounter left him depressed and reclusive, and that it messed with his sense of who I was and what I was doing, work, he said, withered on the vine for me. In my mind, at least something had been taken away from me. Brendan Fraser in Pasadena on January 11, 2018, photo Frederick M. Brown, Getty Image with that Fraser became the latest member of an expanding, unhappy club of Hollywood figures, and one of the few men who have accused powerful industry men of sexual harassment and assault, more who has been accused. List all of the Hollywood power players accused of sexual assault or harassment Woods, 70, a longtime TV and film actor now relaxing in semi-retirement, has become better known lately as one of Hollywood's hardy band of ardent conservatives, regularly dashing off Thunderbolt tweets aimed at Democrats, liberals, Clinton and other targets of his ire. Woods took to Twitter to back up Fraser and accuse Burke of blacklisting him because he didnt support Clinton. I, too, was blacklisted by that individual at HFPA after nine Golden Globe nominations, he tweeted. During a press junket with HFPA, he asked if I would support Hillary Clinton if she ever ran for president. Never nominated again. I recommend this interview highly. I, too, was blacklisted by that individual at HFPA after nine Golden Globe nominations. During a press junket with HFPA, he asked if I would support Hillary Clinton if she ever ran for president. Never nominated again. HTTPST.cofnix 5GM4 IO, James Woods at Real James Woods February 22, 2018 Famous for his tough guy roles, Woods quickly clarified that he wasn't actually touched by anyone. For the record, however, he was never physically sketchy with me in any way similar to that alleged by Brendan Fraser in GQ, he wrote. Finally, he welcomed back Fraser, noting, I'm a big fan. For the record, however, he was never physically sketchy with me in any way similar to that alleged by Brendan Fraser in GQ. He was probably aware I might have knocked his teeth out, had he tried. Final note I'm so glad Brendan Fraser is back entertaining us. I'm a big fan. James Woods at Real James Woods February 22, 2018 Burke has written about his encounter with Fraser in his memoir with Signs and Wonders but claimed he only pinched Fraser as a joke. In an email to GQ, he denied Fraser's allegation as a total fabrication. The HFPA said in a statement emailed to USA Today late Thursday that it has a good relationship with Fraser and that his allegation against Burke was new to them. The GQ story includes alleged information that the HFPA was previously unaware of and at this time we are investigating further details surrounding the incident. The statement said, neither Burke nor HFPA have yet responded to Wood's claim about his alleged political blacklisting. Reader share this story https usat.ly2gdcdg7.